Hey guys, this is Jesse from Pentuner.com. I want to show you a video on how I uh, smooth my nibs, and this is a uh, this is an EverSharp Skyline that I just finished restoring, and I've not smoothed the nib yet. So this is a pen that I purchased off of eBay. It came as a uh, part of a package. I won a bulk lot of about 15 pens, and this was one of them in there. Finished restoring it. I've got it writing, but I have not smoothed the nib yet. So as I write with it, if I can get it started. As I write with it, I can feel that the upstroke feels a little, there's a little more feedback than I would like. Downstroke is pretty smooth. And if you, the camera might be seeing this, but the downstroke, you can see the ink glisten and shimmer much more than the upstroke. You can see that there's a lot more ink going down on the downstroke. So I've already checked the nib tines for alignment. That is the first step. Before you even think about smoothing your nib, check your tines for alignment first. And that's something that is very hard to do with the naked eye. You really need a loop to do it, a 10x loop. And you want to hold the pen to you kind of like this angle. So you're looking straight on at it and you're looking at an angle. And you can compare the two tines of the nib and they need to be in perfect alignment. Uh, even a, a, the smallest bit off through the loop will cause scratchiness and no amount of smoothing will take that away. You've got to get your tines aligned first. So once you've got them aligned, then the, if it's still scratchy or you've got more feedback than you like, I wouldn't even call this scratchy. There's just some feedback on the upstroke that I'm not too happy about and on, on the side strokes as well. What you want to do is take uh, your pad of micro mesh paper you know, this is micro mesh that I got from gouletpens.com. Um, I think it says uh, 12,000 grit on the back. Now, micro mesh grit is not the same as sandpaper grit. I, I don't know what the comparison is, but don't think that you can just get really fine sandpaper and do the same thing. That's a very bad idea. You want to get micro mesh. So, and, and you can use micro mesh. You want to do it lubricated. I've done it with just water as lubricant. That works fine. Or you can just do it with ink in the pen, which is much easier because after you smooth it, you can then test it and see whether your results are worthwhile or not. So I usually start by taking the pen to the micro mesh and I just draw figure eights on it. And I'm using very light pressure. I normally write with a light pressured hand, but on here especially, you want to use light pressure because this micro mesh is an abrasive and it's removing material from the tip of the nib. And you've only got so much iridium on that tip. If you wear it all out, you are out of luck. So go, go, well, very short strokes. You saw I did that for five, ten seconds maybe, and I'm already testing it. And I can see that the upstroke is, the, the feedback is not as much, but it's still more than I would like. Downstroke is very nice and comfortable. Left to right is pretty nice. Right to left is nice. Overall, I think it's just the upstroke that needs help. So if, you find, if you've identified a problem stroke, like in my case, it is down to up. It gives me more feedback than I want. Just replicate that on your micro mesh. Go down to up. And that will help smooth out that stroke for your hand. Try it again. And you can see that it becomes much smoother. And notice that I'm only doing 10 strokes, perhaps, on the micro mesh before I test it again. It's very easy to take this too far. So you want to go nice and slow. Now if you've got a pen that you have just had ground, maybe perhaps you just ground it yourself and it is in uh, desperate need of major smoothing, what I like to do on the micro mesh here is just write through the alphabet. So literally I can just write A, B, C, D and I just write it out in the same spot. And that kind of goes through all of the different strokes that you'll make and that will help smooth out your pen uh, quite noticeably. So I think that we're already getting somewhere good on this. I think, yeah, left or right, I think you can hear it too. There's some catching on there. So then right on here, I'm just gonna go left to right, over here, left to right, left to right, left to right, it's getting better and better. Now, one thing you wanna be careful of when you're smoothing your own nib, everyone has a tendency to grip their pen a certain way and hold it at a certain angle. So I hold my pen like this, I write like this, I hold it at this angle. When I smooth the nib, I write like this, I hold it like this, same angle. 
it's easy to create a flat spot on the nib if you don't vary your angle. When you're smoothing on here, you want to consciously change your angle while also drawing those figure eights or circle patterns. Go high angle, go low angle, and also rotate it to the left and to the right. If you don't do this, you'll create a flat spot. And the pen may feel and write great to you because you've created that flat spot just to your specification. But as soon as you hand it to someone else or try and sell it, it will feel horrible. So really try to avoid that. Rotate your pen up and down, left and right, all over the place. You really are just trying to smooth the every edge of that nib kind of get rid of any of the microscopic burrs on there and get you a really smooth feeling. Now in addition to the micro mesh there's also uh, mylar paper that you can use and I got these also from gouletpens.com. Uh, this yellow one is 1 micron and this white one is 0.3 micron. I've used these a few times but in all honesty I think they're unnecessary. They can produce a, a very smooth finish that really is only noticeable on very fine tipped pens I think. Uh, I like to write with mediums and broads and I think that the the micro mesh is plenty to get a very smooth feeling nib on those. If I'm looking at fines, extra fines and needle points after I'm done with the micro mesh I'll then take it to some uh, the mylar paper and repeat the process on here. You do the same thing you just write on the mylar paper Again, you want to do it with either water or ink, and it's the exact same process. Rotate it left and right, low pressure, low angle, high angle, just draw your figure eights on there, and then test it out on here. Do that a few times, and it will help smooth out your nib. Uh, so that is the, that's how to smooth your nib the easy way. Hope you find that helpful. Check out the website, pentuner.com, and I'll see you guys later.